Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. God bless you, family. Once more again, this is the day the Lord has made that we should rejoice and be glad. I bring us God's fresh word. This particular prophetic word title today, this person is stealing your star. Do this now to stop him. I take it again. This particular person is stealing your star. Do this now to stop him. So God is revealing and God is telling you what to do. So God is talking about you and he's exposing the work of the enemy and he's giving you what to do. So God is speaking to us in three ways. He's revealing. One thing, when something is in secret, it has power. Once it's been exposed, it's no more, it does not have any power. Praise Master Jesus. And somebody that will steal or somebody that will commit a crime and nobody will seize that person. As long as the person lives, the person remains slave. Because anywhere you stand, you see somebody, your heart cut, your heart beat. You feel that maybe they are thinking, maybe they are thinking you remain slave. But if the particular incident happened and you were exposed in public, your mind will be free. That everybody knows about it in the name of Jesus. So I use this opportunity to introduce myself and welcome those that are new on this platform. God bless you. My name is Bazi. I am the young man that God is using to bring us hallelujah, prophetic words, prayers, advice. We share the word of God on, the, on daily basis. Do well to subscribe to become part of this family. So whenever I'm live, you will be notified together. Let us pray. I love you all. Be my friend, my prayer partner. My email is on this platform. You can send me a personal message so that we can talk one-on-one. -on -one. Praise Master Jesus. God bless you all. In the name of Jesus. Let's go back to our prophetic word. So this particular prophetic word was talking about, God is talking about yourself. Praise Master Jesus. And what someone is doing in secret and direction. Someone is stealing your, your star. Hallelujah. A lot of people always say, nobody can do me anything. I'm a child of God. Listen to me. We are living in a world whereby we make things happen. Things don't happen. I'm a good man. I'm a good man. Listen to me. The prodigal son that was a bad man took his own share of the father, went and ate his squander everything as a bad child. The good child was there showing goodness and holiness. The child came back. The father still welcomed the child, received the child, sacrificed and made the feast. When the elder brother saw, he got angry and asked the father, I have been, been with you. You have not sacrificed anything for me. The father said, you have never asked. One, praise Master Jesus. Secondly, when we also look in the Bible, is it Aswa and Jacob? Who's supposed to, to inherit uh, um, Isaac's blessing? It was Aswa. But Jacob was a lazy man. But Jacob paid the price and took the blessings of Aswa. This is to show to us that for those that think that you are good, your heart is good, you are not doing bad, that nobody can touch me. Listen to, to me, my dear. People can touch you. Somebody can touch you unless you, if you do not command, if you do not talk, we make things work. Things don't work like that in the kingdom. Look in, in the life of Cain and Abel. How do you want me to convince you? Cain and Abel, blood brother, a brother killed his other brother just because of sacrifice. The world is evil. So I'm saying this to those that always say, nobody can steal my star, my star in the hands of the Lord. I pity you. That is a baby Christian word. You need to stand up. Praise Master We make things happen. Solomon was not the one that's supposed to be king, but he made things happen. So God revealed to redeem. I'm just trying to say this because a lot of people will say, nobody can steal my star. No. When, when they gave birth to Jesus, the Bible said the wise men were not prophet, they were not apostles. They saw the star of Jesus. So they could monitor the star of Jesus with, with other forces and located the place. That is to show how evil the world we are living in is now. Listen to me, child of God. This particular prophet was saying that somebody is stealing your star. I saw somebody using what is your own. I saw somebody enjoying in world. Everything that the person is using is your own. You can use somebody's world when the person is no more. We understand. But somebody cannot level and goes to school and, and when he got a master degree, then you will twist his master degree and, and his information. You blacklist him and you're there using the master degree to squander money. I'm just setting an example. This is actually what is happening. Somebody is taking your blessing. 
There is somebody the Lord showed me, you walk as like an elephant, but you eat like an ant. You labor every day from morning to evening. There is nothing you can show that Papa, this is what I have this this is the end of the year. I'm able to show this. Yet you labor, somebody is there enjoying. The Lord said that was not where it's supposed to be. Hallelujah. The Bible said Jabez was more honorable than his brother, but that was not his position. You are more honorable, but that is not your position. The Lord said, I should speak to you that that is not where you're supposed to be. Somebody is taking your star. Praise Master Jesus. Now you ask who is the person. The Lord is telling you what to do. Listen to me. Hallelujah. What will you do? The Bible said Jabez had to say, stop. I must know the cause of this. Father, change my name. The cause of Jabez was, was, was his name. So Jabez had to change his name. Cry to the Lord. Somebody listen to me, you know what to do. You must stand on your ground and come to the Lord. And tell God, Father, enough is enough. Hallelujah. He, what have you been believing God for? Your husband is in the hands of a, of, of a useless woman. Though. The man got destined to you, a useless woman is disturbing him outside. Why? Because you are sleeping. As you are sleeping, your destiny is sleeping. The Lord said, do something. Don't hold much yet. No. We do not fight against flesh and blood but against principality and powers, rulers of darkness of this world, rulers of wickedness in high places, those are the battle we fight. So the Lord is asking you to fight. Do this. Stand at the gap of prayer. Pray and ask anybody that is stealing your blessing or your star. Let it be restored in the name of Jesus. I pray for somebody as you put your word into practice. I'm waiting for your testimony. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. God bless you.